Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So, this video is going to be, um, I think it's the second video I'm making on this build, which is the damage build for Daniel. And, um, let me go over the, um, you see, I'm going over the equipment here. I'm using damage there, level 3. See, this is a deck as well, if you want to pause the video and everything. I'm using the damage level 3 there, and damage level 2 on the equipment. Like I said in the previous video, it's very important that you use this exact setup, because if you use level 1 instead of level 2 of the damage there, it's gonna change. It's gonna take one more swing to to uh, down him, you know. By making that that shift from the first uh, from level one damage to level two damage, it, it reduces one swing that's gonna take to down him. So it's a big deal. And increasing beyond that is also actually not gonna make a difference. So why bother, you know? I might as well switch that and balance it out more with the uh, the viruses, so it take less damage from control of my creatures. Now, as far as the passive abilities, I'm using the one that Mr. X punches faster. I'm using uh, the one that the the grab damage is increased on the second slot, and the third slot I'm using the um, the overall increased damage, which is um, it's the first variation of the third slot. It's like controllable creatures do more damage. And as far as special cards you saw there, I'm using the Equilibrium mod and the uh, Regen Dealer, and uh, also using the mod. You know, if you notice the deck, I'm using the mod to get Mr. X faster. That that helps a lot with this build. Because, I don't know, sometimes the, the, the um, survivors might be good and we're not, and uh, they deal with your creatures very well. You're still going to get Mr. X a lot more often to be able to balance it out, you know, with that. And also down him even more, no? Because Mr. X is really powerful as well. And I, if I'm not mistaken, the damage on the... Um, the I, I'm not sure, but I, I feel like the damage might influence him as well. The, the equipment damage there. Now, you see, the fat guys are usually the best ones because you're going to have a little bit more health, right? But, you know... Like I said, this build, you, you, you're still going to take knockback when using this build. So it's better if you can, uh, you know, not spawn the creatures right in front of them like that. But it's fine. It's a, oh, by the way, this build as well, you can kill them with um, one grab of the uh, the dealer here as well. So not only did I say where, um, did I say that uh, it takes one less, one less swing because you're using level 3 and 2 damage, but it also it still kills them with one single buy from the dealer. And uh, to buy it, to, is the because the, the the build does the sorry the bite does like one thousand one hundred or something, which is enough to kill a Val, but it's not enough to kill a Jan or something. It's cause, so by doing a swing first, the swing does two hundred and forty five. So one swing and one bite, and pretty much everyone any anyone in the game is dead. Besides a uh, like Tyrone or uh, or maybe Samuel, but a single extra hit will, will already make you see he's dead already. We make that difference. So instead of one hit and a bite, uh, Tyrone maybe two hits. And then follow by by and he will be dead. Yeah. You see right there, they're just going down. Like every time they interact with a zombie and they take a bite or anything like that, they pretty much go down right away. The imposter zombie is another one that's really good. Now the reason why I came up, because you could you could argue that you could use a viral mod on the um, instead of the Mr. X the bio weapon recharge there, but I, I just felt like the the bio weapon recharge. Was not only something different from my other builds, because all my other builds for Daniel already have viral mods, but it's also you know it just goes very very with, along with the damage idea of the build, you know, because you're getting Mr. X constantly, you get down them so often, and you see like there, uh, it does more than a thousand a single a single uh, bite like that, so it, you know they they go down. Now unfortunately she is the no no controlling here the gen, so I can't really control my zombies. That's really annoying. So I just have to wait around here now. But you see, it's very common that they will kind of run out of uh, green herbs eventually, if depending on how much they're engaging with the zombies. Uh, usually Val can heal them as well, but... I don't know, you see the time as well. They get infected a lot is too, because the damage is so high. And you see, here is really why I've used the virus instead of going full damage. Without the virus, I would have not lasted that long right there. Without the equipment virus to take less damage when controlling creatures. Um, but like I was saying, the um, you see, this is really the idea. You just want to swing at them mostly, because a swing, a, s a swing at them, is essentially like uh, a high caliber rifle shot. So it does a lot of damage. And uh, you see the valves healing them. But uh, like I was, I was talking about, because the the infection you apply to them is also relative to the damage. So meaning, the higher damage, the more infection you're going to be applying to them. So even though I'm not using viral canisters on the equipment to increase the infection, they they still get infected 
you know, kind of relatively easy, just because of how how damage the how high the damage is. Now it's kind of hard that you're gonna get a, a bite, unless they're alone. It's, it's kind of hard to, you know, not likely that you're gonna get a bite with the dealer here, with the triangle there where she jumps on top of them. However, when you do, it's really powerful because you, you can kill them in a single, a single hit there, a single animation. But mainly the idea is really just swinging at them as much as you can, taking their health away, um, making them waste those uh, green herbs. And like I say, because of the mod there, you also have Mr. X on area three. I'm not sure if this team gets to area 3, we'll see. But uh, on area 3, you're going to get a lot of energy because of the Equilibrium mod. Because it combos with these other two mods. Because the Equilibrium mod gives you energy relative to the amount of points you have in your hand, right? So because you have two mods there that cost 10, you already have 20 in your hand. So the energy is going to go to the roof on area 3. The recovery speed. Um, so you see, you see how quickly he's going down here. This is a rather good combo as well. See, if you can get behind their back and you can, while swinging, you can get behind them and get a bite. Like that, it's really easy to kill them that way. And you see, they're wasting a lot of herbs here to, to be able to sustain all this damage. This is the, the only problem though, is because you don't have knockback, especially if they have the shotgun. Shotgun is really stupid. It, it just, every single shot is like a knockback, so you can't really move. But the fact that I have the, the, the equipment on the right stick less damage allows me to at least last longer. Right here, you see I blocked my face so I wouldn't get hit by the flashbang. I was already expecting her to use something there. And uh, he is the power here, but you see still... But still, the, the idea is really too comp... You see, I see Martin has the thing ready. So I'm gonna block my face again. He can't hit me. No, he's dead. So I was able to hit him right at the right moment there, but... I noticed he, he has the flashbangs. You definitely want to cover your face when they... When the, you know, usually as soon as you spawn, if they're good, they're, they're, they're always going to throw a flashbang. So you got to be ready for the, for those when you're playing Mr. X. He he's the one that he's the only one that can counter it. Like Nemesis, for example, unless he has the extermination where you're invisible, he can't really. I'm surprised this this hit miss here. <laughs> but you see, just like that, it, like not only the zombies do a lot of damage, but because you're getting Mr. X so quickly because of the mod there, usually you're going to be able to use him like three times or maybe four times. I don't know during the match just because of that mod. So it's a lot of potential kills that you can get, you know? So it just combos very well with the idea of the build of just this high damage and constantly downing them, you know? It's really fun to play. But yeah, for sure, you, I would still easily be able to get Mr. X two more times on this match before the end. <laughs> Abraham's dancing on him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, that's the damage build. I see the damage is really high, but th this this thing was holding out pretty well. But once you get to Mr. X, the game always changes, you know. So especially if you if you don't if you don't get stunned by the flashbangs, then you know when to uh, block your face, so you don't get hold backed. You usually get a lot of kills with the Mr. X. So that's also why the I have the mod there to get him faster because he, he just helps with that shift on the match a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's the damage build, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.